Uh, thanks, everybody, yeah, for a little bit of push yesterday. I got into a snit this week. I got kind of dark and kind of solid and was in <sighs> trouble. The release mode, not like before. Everybody came up and helped, and I appreciate that. And I needed some advice, and I didn't reach out for it because I wasn't feeling good. And uh, I realized what it is and what I needed to do. And so yesterday I cried for half an hour. <laughs> it was a lot. Uh, I just wanted to show you something. Uh, it's my first feeble attempt at a uh, gallery wall. It's really hard to do. Uh, so if you've got OCD and your bells are ringing, go fuck yourself. I really don't care. I'm doing my best. Uh, so I just wanted to show you recent, recent acquisitions. Recent acquisitions at Chateaubriand. So you should come over and see them. I have lots of wine. I just got in lots of wine, which my neighbor boy helped me carry up the stairs. Neighbor man. Maybe that's why I cried for a half hour, because I realized I was too old to get a case of wine up the stairs. I should have people doing that for me anyway. Someone was right about that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, exciting additions to the home. I'm going to try to do this this way because I don't know how to flip the thing and start over and do all of that. So we got the Cheryl Molnar in, which is so unbelievably brilliant that I can't even speak about it. And you have to come see it because it's so layered. It's printed on wood a big piece of ply board, and then it is painted, then it is collaged. All the trees are collaged, so it's three-dimensional, and it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper the more you look at it. And it's above my altar and where my music comes from, and so that's all force of good. That's my place in my house where it's all force of good. And so I just did this. I've got to run because I've got to work pretty soon, but I just did my first gallery wall. And so this is the living room and the kitchen. Um, so I did a big gallery wall and we'll start over here because I've made a horrible mistake. I got a piece earlier this year, right after the holidays and I never talked about it. And I always try to tell everybody about everything. This is my beautiful friend, Peter J Robinson. I've known him for 21 years, 20 years. I was looking in the screen. I hate when people do that, but it's too late now. I'm not redoing this. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, this is PJRJR. This is an incredible photograph. I told them to put it in... Glare poof glass, and this is what I got. So it's super glary, so I'm going to have to go back and redo it. I will post the picture next to this video. It is a guy standing outside the door, a guard standing outside the door of a nightclub. And it is a photograph. And it was supposed, there it is. And it was supposed to be in glare proof glass and because I hate photos in, especially dark ones, in glary glass because you can't fucking see them. And they do that in galleries all the time and it fucking sucks and I hate it and people can go kill themselves. I really just, I don't understand. It's bullshit. You want to see the item. So people have to use matte glass. It's just the way it is. Um, and then, of course, Ava Muller's spectacular uh, piece, which was the first thing. Uh, that I bought from her. I will buy more. Uh, she's an incredible photographer. She's my, one of my best friends and it is absolutely amazing. If you, again, if you have problems with this, then that's your problem. That's not my problem. This is a piece of art. It is meant to be provocative. It is meant to be what it is. And of course, my amazing framers at Jack's Frame Gallery did this astonishing fucking fucked up plastic fucking shiny uber Italianate frame, which is also on Little Paw, which we'll go over at the end. And that's Peter's. See, can you see Peter's work? How mysterious that is? Look at that. Beautiful. And I love having it right here by the entrance, by the entrance, by the lobby, because then you're in the lobby. You can see the Kenny Mentioner piece there and my amazing piece, uh, you know, in case of zombies. Uh, and then this week, of course, we got uh, uh, Stepan Tadic's Astonishing uh, Bacon, Egg, and Cheese, which I am fucking bananas and I know some people won't understand this either but this captures every single night of my entire history of New York as a DJ going home in through the East Village and through Chelsea clutching my 3D level bacon egg and cheese which heals your soul the picture is filled with little hidden objects and moments he's going to come over next week and tell me about it I am super excited to have it and so this is uh my first attempt at having a, a gallery wall. There's my uh, little, this is, this, this, that's my little spine part of my Minos series. And you can see one of my great mirrors in the lobby. So I just wanted to show you, there it is, the fucking gallery wall. Hot shit. It's like better than TV in here. Like between having the Cheryl, having, oh, this is from me from when I was 20. 
This is a seascape from Puerto Rico from when it was 1990. It was 31 years ago. I painted this and gave this to my parents. And so that's that. It has star dots. I know some of you people think star dots are fucking bad, but you can go fuck yourselves as well. It changes all the way through the light. I like it. It's one of my favorite pieces. I'm going to put a big box frame around it, and we're going to deal with it that way. And then let's go say hi to Little Paw, because Dan Romer's Little Paw is also here in the living room. The living room is stuffed with art, and I couldn't be more happy. And Dan Romer painted this at the end of Little Paw, and it's my shrine to Little Paw. And again, this unbelievable Italianate, like mega fucking glossy frame. And so Little Paw reflects off of uh, Ava Muller piece across the room. And then, of course, the antlers, which everybody loves. I love them so much. And this room is fucking shining, man. It's bouncing. Yesterday, I got caught in the past and, and, and I got caught with the weight of release. And the weight of release is something I talk to my clients about all the time as when you are releasing something and allowing something to move past you, you get hurt. And yesterday I got hurt. And the most important thing is, <laughs> fuck, fuck. The most important thing is to call for help. The most important thing is to ask for assistance. The most important thing is to reach out an arm and ask somebody to help you move forward. And I got stuck and I got in doubt about whether it's worth being a good person or not a good person. And I know that it's worth being a good person. And there's a lot of people who don't do that. And if you're a good person, you get to have art. <laughs> oh, look at this. This came back to me because of my father's death. Uh, uh, he gave this to my mother. This is me when I was 24, 25 years old. I painted this picture called Untitled. It's sort of... Uh, a white on white square and then I had it framed and I showed up and my father told me I would never sell anything I ever did. And then he ended up buying one for two months rent. And my friends were aghast that I would charge my father for work, but he was the one who said that, so it's his fault. And so I charged him two months rent and I showed up at home. And when he passed, I took all of my art out of the house and brought it here and it's here now and I feel very, very blessed. Have a wonderful day. Sorry for the big long movie. This is the way it is. Have a good day. Peace.